The Minolta XE5, introduced in 1975, was produced in partnership with Leica and is part of the evolution from big mechanical cameras through big electronic cameras through to small electronic cameras. The first thing I think you'll notice about the Minolta XE5 is that it's quite a hefty beast. You can see how small that 50mm standard lens looks when it's put on the body. If I compare it side by side with the Minolta XG2, which was made just about uh, four or five years later, um, you can see that Minolta managed to reduce the size of their cameras quite significantly. The first step is to turn the camera on. You can see that's on the back here. You just pull that button down and it's turned on. On the top plate, you can see the film wind on, which is quite smooth and quite a smooth shutter release as well. Here is the uh, shutter speed dial, which goes all the way up to a thousandth of a second and down to four seconds, as you can see there. There's B for bulb. There's an X flash synchronization setting and auto. There's a little button there that you have to press in in order to move it off of auto. The metering is centre weighted and the viewfinder has a needle which shows the shutter speed that the camera has chosen according to the aperture selected when you're in auto mode. This is also all that you get when you're in manual so you have to take your eye from the viewfinder to check that the shutter speed matches. On the left hand of the top plate is the film speed dial which you can see goes all the way from 3200 down to ISO 12. Just here is the exposure compensation. There's a button here so you press it and then it's free to move until you move back to zero and then you have to press the button again. There's a hot shoe on the top which is useful but quite basic. On the front of the camera you've got the self timer if you want to take pictures of yourself. There's a very different type of depth of field preview here. It's kind of a clutch mechanism. You can just uh, press like that to leave it at uh, the taking aperture and see the depth of field and then you press again for it to be at the full aperture. On the left hand side of the camera is the lens release and you push that and you can see the old Minolta bayonet mount from their manual focus cameras. It takes MC and MD lenses. On this side of the camera is the battery check button which seems to be quite strangely positioned. On the base of the camera you can see this button which is for rewinding the film. You press that, disengages the wind on so you can rewind the film. Here's the uh, battery compartment. There's the tripod socket. And one thing that's missing from a professional or advanced uh, type camera is any connection for motor drives. Minolta were under the impression that it's better to design a camera with a motor drive built in, like they did with the XK. Loading the camera is simple. You just pull up the rewind lever like that and then you can pop the film in there push this down you push that into the uh, little slot there wind on one frame close the back and then you just wind on a couple of frames and you're ready to shoot. So there you have it, the Minolta XE5, a well-made, good value camera that's very durable. It's got the weight and size of a high-end camera like the Nikon F3 or the Canon F1. However, it's a little out of step with consumer preferences such as motorized film advance.